Hey guys, it's Wilton and Only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode where let's build a medieval city. Today we're going to be building a butcher's right here. It should be a simple building to do, but I think there's something really cool that we can do at the back. Um, obviously, butchers are going to do pigs because it's, I don't know, they're my favourite animal out of the farm animals in Minecraft. So I think a, a pig butcher will be better than like a cow butcher. They're still butchers, right? Yeah, they're still butchers. So, let's grab ourselves some oak. Let's grab ourselves some wool. Let's grab ourselves some trapdoors. You know, the usual stuff that we need to grip for these buildings. Glass. Um, cobblestone. I think we should be... Let's get good. Not one stake. So, I'm going to do the building facing this way. Okay, so there'll be a little path that sort of comes down here. And we want the buildings back. Let's turn these shaders off. The back of the building to be about here because I want to have like a back pen for some pigs to go, okay? Pretty, you know, a little bit out of the way of the public eye. You'll still be able to see it when you come around this side. We'll have a door sort of into it, but a little, little pen out the back, right? We just want to make sure that we're far enough away from the building that it doesn't look incredibly close. I think something like that by the time we sort of go wide on the next floor and whatever we need to do. That should be about good. Uh, and then we'll grab some cobblestone here. We'll put cobblestone down. Do I want to go... I think I want to go five with this one. Five, and then that one, and then five, and then that one. And that works out pretty good. That's a nice sort of distance away from each other, isn't it? We'll go down here. Two, three, four, five. And then put that down. And then I'll go for a three. No, that's probably a bad idea to make them different, isn't it? <laughs> that's just causing trouble later on, that is. We'll go with a three. And then a three. Okay. Doesn't need to be a big building for this one. We don't need to have a bigger tool. We'll go across here for the five. And then a log. Three, four, five. And then a log. We have a log in the middle here. And we have that there and there. So small interior. It's only a butcher. He's only going to live in there. He just chops up pigs, right? In fact, what we might do is we might... What if I extended it out, if I take this middle one away, and we do, like, a shop window in here? Three blocks wide should be fine. This could be cool. And then that one. So a little bit of an L shape here. And then this will go up there and there. And then you'd get wool. Uh, what did I use? I've done this before. What colours did I use, though? I used red and white on the bakery. So on this one, uh, let's use pink because it's the butchers. Pink and white. And obviously white because white's always the best match for this. So we'll go that one and that one. And then that one and that one. Does that feel a little bit too low? How did I do it over here? Did I do it the same height there? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's fine. Just grab some posts to hold up the bottoms. Here, bottom. Uh, put that there. Yeah, that works. So that's where you can sort of buy your, your uh, stuff. We'll have like a nice wall again behind it with pork chops and stuff on there. Easy, easy to do, you see. So let's get these up. I don't want a window on that side and I don't want a window on this back side because this is a sort of shop part. However, oh, um... I could put some windows down here. There's no point having windows on the back because all he's looking at is a wall. On the back here, we need a door to get out into the butcher's area. So I'll probably put another door there. Seems about right to me. Let's get a stair. Put that there. We'll have, I think, a, wi a dual window there. And I'll have that a wall, but then I'll have this a window. And then this will be, we need a way into the building, don't we, obviously. So we'll have that as the actual door in, in the front. Sounds good to me. Let's get these poles along the top now. So we want something like that, that one. We're getting quick now at, at throwing these buildings together. Now that we've, we're getting our, our own sort of pattern for this. I'm not going to go with the sticking out parts, though, on this one. We'll probably go with uh, a button or, or, or nothing on it. Do I want those to go low? I want them to stick up. Like this. Oops. And that one. 
Cool, I like it. Then we'll see on this one they drop back, and on this one they stay on the wood level. So it's up to us, or we could come out wider. I could let's come out wider on this one. So we'll go with um, no. Oh, I'm stuck. I don't know yet. Let's work out this part. Okay. And then we'll get the snow, the, the, the wool behind here. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I think that design looks the neatest on a building of this scale. The bigger the building, I think on the bigger ones you have to do it like that. On the smaller ones you do it like this. I think that's the sort of secret to this. I could put a double window. Because this is his living quarters at the top. So he can certainly have more windows up here. that have a double window in there I mean, we probably don't need windows all of the way around that's it, that's an awful lot of windows um, maybe we take the wool out of this one and I make those into oak planks and this is where like if it was real it would say like butchers on there or something like that just adds a slightly different Maybe this whole section should be wood. If we do that. So we come out here with the wood. Similar to how we've done the stables in the last couple of episodes. I know I still need to do an interior to the uh, stables. Um, and like fill up the barn and stuff like that. That's not a problem. I can do that at any time. So we go back to wool here. I love this world. I've done a little bit of sort of tidying up as well. I don't know if you noticed at the beginning of the episode. I've sort of filled in a few holes and made like some more grass parts instead of stone it's slowly getting there i just sort of do it in between episodes here and there but i don't like to do too much off camera because then you guys get confused on like on what's changed and stuff like that but like the simple little things i don't mind doing log 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 okay let's get this glass in throw this in like this and then on the bottom floor, I did have some windows, didn't I? Yeah, I had a double little window in there, and that was it. Oh, and that one. Cool. I don't need glass on there. That's going to stay open. We'll grab a door. I don't know which one I want. I think I want that one. I think the darker one looks a little bit posher, a little bit more expensive. And this is only a butcher. I mean, it's not a bad job, but it's not like the top job, is it? Uh fold these up around here nothing on these ones I don't do them on the bottom one though with the cobblestone on these ones I don't know we'll probably leave them open or oh, oh. that could be nice we'll do that on this one yeah right uh, so that's that part and then we have the roof now the roof we're just gonna go straight into um, the stairs like we have here we're not gonna do a log that goes along I know I have it on one of the buildings I can't remember where we're just gonna go straight into logs though and how do we want this to go what do we want where do we want the peaks and stuff well we're gonna certainly need a peak on there I think that would be neat and then maybe here we go into complete gabled roof all the way around so we just have the one um, I can't remember what you call them ones. What are those ones called? Like, I, I don't know. Peak? I, I always call them peak. Uh, but the rest will be gabled. So we'll have... Do I want it on this level or on that level? I think I want it on this level. So we'll go up and around. Super simple. Gabled roofs are the easiest to do. 100%. That one. Ooh. Yeah, you can't get easy than gabled roof because you just follow the stairs all the way around. Uh, slab. It's not even something I need to cut away for. Put a little lip on the top there. Okay, stick the. I'm going to go one block wider, I think, to get past those logs. Be 
he's coming down here. That way we just come further than them then. And I think it looks a little bit neater. Uh, that one. And I'll just put two slabs there. Because I could be bothered to get a block out of my inventory. Uh, follow this one around here. You know what? I'll be back. There we go. That saved you guys two minutes of your life. <laughs> And the top there. Perfect. Okay. So there's the roof on here. I really like that. I think it's nice to have a little bit of gable. We don't have like any gables anywhere. So having this one as a gabled roof um, just adds a little bit of difference, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Let's work around the back here. So let's come around the back and we'll get a fence because the building next to us has a cobblestone wall. So let's just keep it a little bit different. We'll add a fence around here. Um, I could do it to there. I think that could work. And then we share this hedge like that now this is where pigs are going to be so i could spawn some pigs down i'll do that in a moment they shouldn't despawn because i think this pen is small enough for them to to not despawn in but we need the butchering section now this is gonna this is gonna be like so harsh and i know this is gonna be harsh but i think for the purposes of minecraft it's okay <laughs> yeah we're gonna get stair here for a little table uh, i think i want to do it out here oops pixel escape and we'll get a stair like this. And we'll get the same slab. So I'm just using spruces, that are like the furniture at the back here. I think I'll put another one in. It's like a little table. Uh, but then we need a cobblestone wall. I think I'll put it up. This could, This would work. There and there. <laughs> you, you guys, you, I'm laughing because I know what's what I'm doing, but you guys have no idea yet. I know some of you are going to hate me for this. I know. I, I can already sense the comments. We've got this here. Let's uh, poke some holes in it, though. I think that looks smart. And then we're going to get... Uh, fence to look sort of like rope like like um something we can hang off i might have to move that i'll put the table in a different spot so we have it like that and then we get pink wool or this i don't know which pink will be closer and it looks like a, a, a dead pig like hanging up do you know what i mean like 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 uh they'd slit the pig's throat and then hang them up and uh and then that would be like ready to chop up into bits but then if we get some pigs to go in fact if we do like another pen here and then get like a walkway away from the pigs don't i uh gate just a normal gate would be fine i don't know on this side like opposite the door i think that'd look nice and neat <laughs> now what Pink is the closest. We've got that one or this one. I think the pink pink looks closer. It also looks a little bit more like a skin texture. Like a little bit of a rough skin. Like pigs have. Uh, clay. Yeah, no. No, I think we'll go with that. So it def to me, it definitely looks like, like a pig. Right? If we What if we got a button? That's like the little pig noses at the bottom does that look more like a pig or does it look like to me it looks like a, a piggy nose at the bottom there but no i think i think we'll leave that let's get this table to go in here then we'll make it a little bit thinner just as like a little table on there we'll get some um i'll leave grass underneath here but i think here we should change up to gravel could work So we'll go from there to there. Set gravel. <laughs> and from there to there. There we go. So just fill that in with gravel. And then we'll get some redstone. Can I place it? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Just as like some blood. Now, if I do a line, I think it ruins it when you do it. Oh my, it does look like it's sort of like a drag then, isn't it? So like we could do something like 
like that. Uh, let's put gravel underneath there. Like, 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 it's been sort of dragged through into the shop or something like that. You know, like, like bits of blood have sort of dripped off it. I think it's nice and simple, right? I know it's really harsh to have the pigs, like, watching their brethren be chopped up. No, mum! But <laughs> it's Minecraft. It's not, it's not real. That's what you have to remember. Uh, item frame. And we shall stick, I don't know, like, there... Um, axe. I, th I, I think an axe would be the best tool for this, as opposed to a sword. I think it looks a little bit more like a, like an axe to shot, like a cleaver. Now I could probably, I probably have a cleaver or something like that. Yeah, I do. I actually have a cleaver. Look, but we're not using modded stuff. So a, a nice axe in there. I put it on that side so when you come through, you can actually see it. So it's part of it. Yeah, that that works. I'm I'm happy with that actually. I think that's good. Uh, anything else I can do on this outside here? Not really. I think that's where we're going to leave this episode, guys. Next episode, we'll work on a nice quick interior. I also need to do the stables. Maybe we can do the stables interior and this interior in the same episode if we're quick. Um, but yeah, that should be good. Let's add a little bit of sort of happiness to the pigs here. Let's get, um, well, it, we'll, we'll, soul sand is always good for poop. It looks like a little bit of poop sort of laying about. Um... It's not big enough to put, like, uh, a shelter for the piggies, unfortunately. Uh, but I could probably do some sort of... I need to be careful, though. Otherwise, they're going to get out. Let's get a slab. And a sign. Piggy, you'll be really slaughtered soon. One. Oops. And ugh, that one looks like a little water trough then for the piggies. I don't think that they can jump. Like I can jump to there. I, I, oh, I would be able to if I was good at parkour. And I think they could jump over there. But I don't know. I don't think they can do a running jump. And without a running jump, oh, they probably could. He's gonna try. He's trying it. He was trying it. We'll just make sure. Just on those ones. Maybe along there as well. Looks like a bit more of a taller fence then. But they'll have this one lower. Okay, that's good. Pigs are safe. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Uh, yeah, like that. Trying not to let the pigs fall down though. Alright.